You guys see the pigs out there? You guys hear them? You guys hear them in the greenhouse? <laughs> Still very dark outside. This morning we got a very special day. Day one of two of our mini farm tour. This is a local one. This one going to town on a little Christmas gift from Grandma. You quite the builder, buddy. We are at Hickory Nut Gap Farm, local farm to us. We're gonna get some hay. We got Walker here, the farm manager, gonna take us around. <laughs> They're all layers, so we don't have any more meat birds right now. We only do meat birds up until November. And these are golden comets. Gonna feed the goats and the sows now. Grabbing some hay. So we pretty much keep these guys in here mm -hmm. for the winter just because they have a house, keep them out of the wind. Yeah. And so we put them out in the field in the spring. We're gonna go load up on some feed down here at the silo. We used to do all of our feed out of those bags. Yeah. Those one-ton bags, and it is, I hate those things. We still use them for like chickens and stuff. Yeah. But man, this silo changed our world. It's so much easier. You can auger it into a, another auger to feed the pigs. And then we installed this thing back here, which just saves so much wasted feed. You just don't waste nearly as much, and the mice don't get to that's true. I like your farm truck too. <laughs> this thing got wrecked. And so we figured we might as well turn it. It's a nice covered farm truck. <laughs> that car's on its last leg, man. Yeah, here, I think we're feeding the sows now. Mm -hmm. Yes, it looks like it. And he's got them out on pasture. That's awesome. Yes. Reminds us of our time in Honduras. I used to keep the pigs. This is what it sounded like every morning well, we also before they got their them. fat feed. Sometimes this would happen at night. Scary. <laughs> so we limit their feed to five pounds each a day. Yeah. Because we don't want their body mass to get too big or they have trouble with birth. He hustled right there, buddy. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you. <laughs> I say, if you didn't feed them, they'd turn on you, buddy. We are going to overwinter them here. We just got the tarp on, and so they're dried in. Better conditions for them. We're gonna, we need to spread a bunch of corn stalks in here. We started yet the other day, but we aren't quite done. And then we're actually gonna move our other pigs in here too, so that we can Pharaoh over winter and have babies in here over winter and not have nice. to have them get too cold is the idea. We're hoping we had this greenhouse or this hoop house built last year and this when that big snow came, yeah. It uh, had big winds too and it ripped up like completely ripped the plastic off and destroyed half of the hoop house, just took it out of the ground and flung it. So these are your mamas. These are some of them. These are the ones that just had babies. And you got another one. We have another six of them. And so you were telling me about one named Sassy. We yeah, there's see this one, one named Sassy. <laughs> she is, she, you'll see her, she's huge. She's massive. She's also the oldest mama we have, but she probably weighs 750 pounds. Oh my goodness. And you call her Sassy for a reason. Yeah, well, she's the boss, basically. <laughs> she just looks, she's like large and in charge and she, the nice thing is if you heard these guys squealing, if you stick her in with these guys, yeah. they shut up. 
Wow. They won't say, they won't squeal, they won't. So we're thinking about changing her breeding pattern so that we can put her in with this group because we alternate. We breed this group and then that group. Okay. And, group. and just so that we can have some peace. Where are the boars? He's up with them right now. Okay. <laughs> that one's name's Chopster. And Where's this is Sassy's <laughs> baby. This is Chopster? This one right here is, Sa is Chopster. He's Sassy's baby. And these hey, are the guys. These are the guys that are growing up for meat, right? And he's super friendly. You can pet him. You guys, you want to come pet the pig? <laughs> he's too curious. <laughs> Don't get too attached, Walker. Yeah, he's our favorite pig. He's so Aww. funny. He's been like this since he was a little baby. You'll keep him as a mascot. I wish if it was. Or we all eat him we too. Would have totally kept. Oh, okay. Him. Kept her as a as a breeder because it's so <laughs> such a good pig. They'll just come find you out in the field and just want to hang out. Aw. See, these ones will let you kind of pet them, but not not for too long. Are they doing any work in here? Are you going to plant something after them, or what's uh, going on here? Usually, this is our corn maze. We put the pigs through the corn through here, tear it up. Basically, is our yeah. natural rotivators, and then we actually come through with a rotivator and tear it up the rest of the way. Okay. We plant the corn maze. Oh, buddy. <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> Come on, come on. You can pet him, he's really nice. I don't he think you've ever petted scratch. a pig. See, he just wants to scratch. There he goes. Come on, you can get over with Chopster. Hey, buddy. Just want to let us pet him? No, this one just is not nervous. You, you notice they only have two strands of electric on those pigs. I asked him if that's enough to keep them in. He said yes, but it's but you got to train them. This is their training pen. So they have the hog wire around, and then they have a just a short strand in the middle there that's hot and they run into that and they yeah, quickly they learn. learn quick <laughs> this one's on our tongue I'm just afraid they're gonna bite me hey, what do you want you need something to eat do I look appetizing to you oh Walker we gotta see sassy now sassy is she's a tabletop <laughs> I'm telling you she, she, we so you don't want I was telling you you don't want their body mass to be too big when they're having babies but her, her body mass, we just can't get it down. It just stays big. <laughs> so this is the big guy. This is the boar. Boy, you got the life, buddy, all these ladies. And that's Sassy down there, the striped one. Sassy's down there, the striped one getting a rub. They got a little crazy in the beginning. We're gonna be moving these guys into the hoop house, actually, pretty soon. Hey, Sassy. See how much bigger she is than me? She's huge. She's massive. You could ride that pig, Walker. You ever been bitten, Walker? Um, not very much. So usually they give you a little nibble to test you out. They, they don't have <laughs> fingers, you know, so yeah. they can't. The only way to assess things is to nibble on it. So they'll come and give you a few little play nibbles and testing nibbles and if you let them get about three of those in then they'll bite you mm. just because they they're not sure what it is at that <laughs> point um oliver the boar has bit a couple of people sassy what do you think of these big pigs guys you like that that's cool isn't it they're You gotta look up a they're kind of scary because they're coming this way but they they really won't hurt you <laughs> They're just curious. Remember guys, they'll nibble you three times. You got three chances. And the fourth one, they'll get you. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> they're, really, they're really just curious. They just want to see what you're about. And smell you. And, <laughs> and this is your frost free water. Right? Yeah, it's actually called Merco water. And we have, uh, we have pig ones and cow ones too. We're done with the pigs. We're about to go over and feed the mama cows. He's got some hay for them. You want to feed the huge cows?
cows so bad, but I don't know, they seem a little bit wild. And they seem a little bit unsure about me. And they're hungry. Nobody ever wants to be petted when they're hungry. So if you roll it out, you really end up having a better field, less waste on the hay. They can, they can eat it more freely without having to compete with each other. We fed the cows, now we're gonna move the steers. The grass fed beef here. You a little hesitant about this? Listen, the cows aren't gonna eat you like the pigs will. We're moving the cows to new pasture. He's put up a strip wire right here to let them graze in here a day and then he'll move them he'll gradually open this up and he thinks this field will last about a week walker's about to move these guys he's got us standing here so they don't go up this way towards the road he's they are uh, definitely ready to get out of here look how they've mowed this grass down And now these guys don't understand. You gotta go down and then back up. There they are figuring it out. All it takes is one to get figuring it out. Here they are in their new grass. Don't follow us. Stay there in your grass. Say bye to Hickory Nut Gap Farm. Bye. I think that was fun. I think that's a good tease of the kind of things and places and people we're gonna see, don't you? Oh yeah. It got me really excited. I know, it did me too. Yeah, I think this is gonna be great. I enjoyed seeing just how they do things differently than we did. Yeah. And, well, of course, they do it on a much, much bigger scale. Yeah. Tomorrow, we continue this mini tour. We're going over to more of the homesteader folks. They've got some goats and they've got to move their goats. Wild Roots Homestead near Hot Spring, in Hot Springs, North Carolina. It's near where the bus is. So we're gonna knock out two birds with one stone. The Wild Roots Homestead with the goats and then our bus. Mm -hmm.